Greetings from Yale University. Today we're going to discuss the four fundamental forces which constitute our universe. The first is gravity. Gravity is the only force which cannot be found at the molecular level. And that's because you need a sufficiently heavy mass to create a gravitational field. Now the second force is electromagnetism. Unlike gravity which comes in only one flavor, attractive, electromagnetism comes in two flavors, attractive or repulsive. Two like charges repel, two opposite charges attract. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, uh, you mentioned gravity and about particles not having sufficient mass at the molecular level. But can you tell me what gives particles their mass? Yes, what gives particles their mass is something called the Higgs field. Yes, the story of particle mass starts right after the Big Bang. During the very first moments of the universe, all particles were massless, traveling at the speed of light in a very hot primordial suit. At some point during this period, the Higgs field turned on, permeating the universe and giving mass to the elementary particles. Why did the Higgs field turn on? When did it turn on? Why do some particles interact more with the Higgs field than others? The short answer is, we don't know.